During a recent trip to the Netherlands, I was invited to go out on a quick sea trial aboard this Botnia Targa 35. And of course, there was no way that I was ever going to turn down such an offer. But one of the reasons why I want to take you, my subscribers, on board this Coastal Explorer will become apparent in a minute. This 11.76 metre Botnia Targa 35 was built in 2001. However, she recently went through a very thorough refit. And as you will see in a minute, the phenomenal job that has been done on this boat has made her look and feel like a brand new boat, which when you consider her asking price as she is currently for sale, makes this particular Targa 35 a very special one. Before we carry on with the video, please take two seconds to subscribe to my channel. The more subscribers I get, the more boats that I can get on, and you won't want to miss the boats that I will be filming in the next couple of weeks. So please remember to select the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. The boat has a Delta anchor that was powder coated in 2023. It's deployed and recovered using an electric 12 volt Lumar windlass. And for those of you who don't already know, these boats are built and designed in Finland. And check out the size of the huge LED searchlight. The sea railing and grab rails on the superstructure were powder coated in 2023. And I personally really like the matte black style. The black also helps to prevent glare from the huge searchlight when you look out the front of the boat at night. Something that you'll probably spot if you're a bit of a Targa aficionado is the fact that the bathing platform on this boat is not only brand new, but it also has been lengthened when compared to the standard bathing platform. It also has a hatch that can be used to inspect the stern drive. The Targa 35 has an open cockpit with plenty of storage, of fenders, lines and anything else you want to stow away out here. For extra safety, the deck has also been finished with a non-skid paint. A really important safety feature, especially if you're gonna be using the boat all throughout the year. The flybridge has been kitted out with a Sea Star helm and there are covers for when the flybridge is not being used. There's also a large rack on the coach roof, which can be used to keep your kayaks or other lightweight water toys on. It's also worth pointing out as well that this radar arch can be collapsed down if you need it to be, when you're navigating under those tight bridges. By the way, if you are thinking of buying or selling a boat, then feel free to get in contact with me. I've built up a really good network of contacts over the last two years since setting up this YouTube channel. And I'll be more than willing to help you out. You'll find my email address on the screen now, or you can get in contact with me via Instagram. I'll leave a link to my Instagram account in the video description. Anyway, let's head back inside into the warm as it's absolutely freezing out here. And talking of heat, there is a very efficient heating system on board this boat that uses hot air to not only heat the windows, but also thanks to the Webasto diesel ducted hot air system, keeps the inside nice and warm on cold winter days like today. As you'd expect with a Targa, this boat has a comprehensive suite of electronics, including a Sunto electric compass, a Simrad depth sounder and a forward looking depth sounder as well, which is really important for when you are cruising the coast, especially in tidal areas. There's also a Robertson autopilot and a 12 inch Raymarine plotter with remote panel. Last year, the current owner also installed a Raymarine aft looking camera. In the doghouse section of the saloon, we find an L shaped dinette with a height adjustable table. The headroom in here is an impressive two meters and of course you get some fantastic 360 degree views from this vantage point. Anyway, now let's head down into the accommodation areas, starting in the aft section of the boat. Down here we have a decent sized wet head with a manual toilet. 
The boat has enough capacity for 200 litres, which is about 53 US gallons of fresh water. In total, there are four berths on this boat spread out amongst two cabins. This is the owner's cabin where we find a double berth that is very comfortable and spacious considering the size of the boat. I also like the fact that in this owner's cabin area there's also a single berth. The owner of this boat was telling me that he frequently uses this boat for weekend getaways with his wife and young son. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this particular Botnia Targa was built in 2001, but as you walk around the accommodation areas you would never have guessed it. Everything is in really good condition. It really does feel like you are on a new boat, which is a testament to the amount of hard work that the owners put in to refit in this vessel. But now that we have finished having a look around the owner's cabin, let me take you forward and take you into the guest cabin. The entrance to the forward guest cabin is located just to the left hand side of the helm station. Again, considering we're on a boat that's 35 foot LOA, there's a decent amount of space down here. I like the natural light that's coming in thanks to the portholes and even at night time down here is well lit thanks to the numerous spotlights that we find on the bulkheads. Don't forget if you need any new gear for your boat such as new VHF comms or nav equipment then be sure to check out my Amazon stores. You'll find the links in the video description. This guest cabin also does benefit from an ensuite which doubles up as a wet head. But what do you think of the accommodation areas, especially considering that this boat was built back in 2001? Share your thoughts in the comments below. So a few more details about this boat that you are probably interested in. She has a displacement of 6 tonnes and is a CE Category B vessel. Her GRP hull is deep V and she has a beam of 3.5 metres a draft of 1.1 meters and an air draft of 3.25 meters. There is also a galley on this boat that comes complete with a sink, a caller, two burner stove and a fridge. She is fitted with two Volvo Penta 260 horsepower engines that have 1,150 hours on them. They power this boat through the water at a top speed of 33 knots and give her a cruising speed of around seven knots. She also has a seven horsepower electric bow thruster and two electric bilge pumps, as well as one manual one. She's also fitted with Bennett trim tabs. When it comes to her range, then it will obviously depend on load and conditions and how fast you push this boat through the water. At a top speed, then you can expect a range of a few hundred nautical miles. However, lower that speed down to a cruising speed and you can expect that range to increase quite dramatically. Remember, this boat is all about fast offshore coastal exploration in the sort of weather conditions that would keep most other boats in the marina. This really is a great boat if you're thinking of getting into the fantastic world of boating. At the time of making and uploading this video, she's currently listed for sale with the Vault Yacht Brokers. If you're interested in finding out more, then I'll leave a link at the bottom of the video description. And if you are a fan of these fast offshore coastal explorers, then be sure to check out the video that I made about the Vigo C10. I'll leave a link in the video description. And if you're watching this on a computer, then you'll also find the link in the top right hand corner of your screen. And another video of mine that I'd recommend checking out if you enjoy these types of boats is the video that I made about the Arxen 28. I had a really great time spending the day out on this boat during a sea trial. And again, if you want to check the video out, make sure you click on the link in the video description or check out the link on the top right hand side of your screen. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to give the video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to know what I'm up to and where I'm going, be sure to come and find me on Instagram because I post regular updates on there. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.